What's up guys, Chris Chapter 37 here. Um, here to do part three of the uh, stringing tutorial. It'll be the last one. I'm just gonna put the shooting string, bottom string, and make in your pocket all together into one, so it should be like a eight, ten minute video. So um, now that you got your stick strung, uh, as you can see there's no channel, no pocket whatsoever. You get your sidewalls done. How to make a pocket. Um, what most people do is to do the ball and the screwdriver or ball and butter knife trick. We put a ball in here and then you throw like a butter knife or screw in our screwdriver. And um, that works, but it gets your pocket really bumpy like. So it's just like a huge bump. So what I like to do is you get, you get an old shaft like this, a uh, baseball bat, anything. You take it and you just push on the stick everywhere, you know, the top, middle, and bottom, until you want, well, you don't want to keep doing it for a long time because then your pocket will become way too deep. Um, also, use the butt end of the shaft, not the sharp part, because that will end up cutting your mesh if you push hard enough. So you do that, and then that will help you form your pocket. See, channel. It's a better pocket. It still looks crappy. Um, just gotta work with it. Now, for the shooting strings, which you'll need shooting strings. Uh, many different ways you can do it. Uh, there's nylon shooting strings, straights, and U's, V's, whatever you want to call it. Um, so, for two and a U, which is what uh, is usually on sticks, beginner sticks, whatever. Um, you go one, two, and you usually start on the third diamond down, uh, going diagonal, not straight down. So, you got your top one, next one, this one. Um, that's usually where you put it. Uh, after string for a while, you can try different stuff. So, what I like to do is I like to put a nylon in uh, my sticks. A nylon straight to you usually. Uh, every now and then I'll change it up. My clutch right now is a uh, nylon and two U's. So, so I get my nylon. And I usually go four diamonds down. Uh, this helps with whip and hold, and it helps put the pocket pocket lower for uh, attacking and cradling one-handed. So you go one, two, four, fourth one. So for the nylon, it's simple weaving task, really. So you go up like this, uh, you just weave it through that little row of diamond, a row of mesh. See up in there, just outside, inside, outside, inside. Oops, wrong. And then tie it off, or actually, I'm not done yet. So you get it, it's weaved in and out like that. Then there's multiple ways you can roll it in, so you like go in and out. But what I like to do is I just keep it normal. I just keep it so then you just match it up. So if you go in on this one, you come out and then in, out, and out. So it should start looking like that. Um multiple ways you can do it. You can have two nylons. Uh, you can put it as high as you want, as low as you want. So there you go. So there's your nylon. And then for tying it off, you just tie it off how you normally would for a knot. And then also I like to go, you can see, oops, through the uh, sidewall, like where the little gap is. That's just how I do it. So next, you get your shooting string. Do the exact same thing. You skip a row of diamond and you go down to the next one. Uh, it's just how normal people, or like how it normally comes strung. Um, nothing too fancy yet. I'll do some fancy videos later on, like ways to get better hold, more whip, and whatnot. So you just go in and out, and you weave it, pull it, and then also when you put these in, you want them to almost be almost be uh, even with each other. This one's a little longer. Um, 
doesn't really make a difference as much longer you put it in. Uh, I, my friend keeps saying that's what she said. But, uh, yeah, just keep going in and out until you get it to where it's skipped. Then, what I do is I push it through the uh, little gap in the sidewall. Sometimes it takes some time depending on how tight you do it. Mm -hmm. So you get it. It's all weaved in and out. It's hard to see. Then you take the other side and you finish it up. Some sticks you'll get, like a beginner stick. If you were, um, they come with barreled or rolled shooting strings, which is what they call it. Uh, it's all personal preference of which one you want to do. Then you can have three straight, which is just three across the top. Two in a U, three in a U, uh, four in a U, or four in a really tight V. That's what one of my friends has. Uh, it has a lot of width, a lot of hold. Uh, it's crazy. So you get it, you pull it through. Um, for this one, you don't want it too tight, but you don't want it too loose. And also, after, like, if you string a brand new stick and you tie off all your strings, don't cut them. Just Tie the knots so they stay tied. Don't cut them in case you want to add stuff to it or tighten them or loosen them. Because if you cut them too short and it doesn't work for you, like it throws too high or too low, whip or not whip, uh, you can't really fix it. You'd have to go buy new shooting strings at the store or whatever. But yeah, there's that. And then next for the U, um, you want a symmetrical U. So you go, you skip a row diamond right under this straight and you go under this one and you count. You can either have a two, a two pointed, uh, three pointed, four pointed, five pointed, whatever you want. Um, me, I like to use four points. So it's four diamonds across the top because it it's like the perfect width of the ball so it holds it right under there when you're cradling two handed. But um, depending on how you string your mesh, you're either going to have three or four or two and one or whatever. So you count the four and you follow it down. So I got one, two, three, four. Follow the corner one down to the head diagonal. Put it through. Then measure so it's about even. You want the first one you don't want as long as the second one because the second one's going and wrapping around all of them. So you just pull it through. So you get it like that. Um, what I usually do is because I sometimes uh, not string up, Jesus Christ. I sometimes mess up is I look at the front of the head. I look at the front of the head and I kind of make sure that's even. So there's two that don't have a thing on that side and two on this side. Then you just take it, go all the way weave it back through so that there's no random hole or random mesh openings and then when you do this don't do them too tight and don't do them too loose you usually want your top string the tightest and your bottom or last string the loosest uh, that's just how people do it helps me throw sorry for it uh, yeah so just keep weaving in and out. I turn the head to make sure that's in the last. And for the U's, I don't tie the U's uh, right after I've been throwing them in. Because after I do this, I look at it and I make sure that's how I want it strung. It's like this. Then I take the shaft again and I just work with this more. And so there's how you do the shooting strings and how you get a nice pocket. You can use a baseball bat, butt end of a lacrosse shaft. Uh, you can pretty 
much use whatever. There is where your pocket should be if you want it. That's usually where I put mine. Uh, now it's kind of sloppy right now because it's not tied. So yeah, there's a third and final part of stream tutorial. If you want something specific explained or you want to see something like an interlocking, um, interlocking saddle which helps you stay tied, uh, send me a message or comment on this video.